the greatest thing about moving to a new beach or a new spot is having a new place to go beachcombing for seashells or sea beans. Carrie just found a shell she's been looking for and she's very excited about it. Very. <laughs> I can't believe it, I found a Discrocinia. These are different, like unique among the bivalve shells because usually you only find a half, but these ones have a super strong ligament, so they're generally found still attached. Sarah already has one just like this, and I was super jealous, so now I have one. Woo! Bingo, here I come. Hold on, I saw something else back there. <laughs> <laughs> We've, did, we've developed a new technique, it's called speed shelling. <laughs> We're driving on the beach and watching the high tide line out the car window. That's how I found my disc docinia. And now I want to find a Florida fighting conch and a lightning whelk and a giant eastern murex. <laughs> have like a shopping list. Let's throw in banded tulip while we're at it. I'll complete my whole bingo card. <laughs> oh, a spiny jewel box too. God, I know exactly what shells I need. You know I'm a shelling freak when I've memorized the whole sheet. <laughs> Mike spotted a starfish and it's still alive. Like it's still moving, but I don't know if it's already dying. Like if I put it back in the water, is it going to come back to life or... Is it moving or is it just drooping? No, it moved when it was on the sand. See, it's moving. Oh, yeah. I'd put him back in the water. Yeah, let's give him a chance. Trying to keep my sandals dry. Let me let it go out a little bit and then put it check out. it. Oh, just check it. I don't even know what it is. Turn over. Um, it might wow. be a nutmeg, but I, it might be too big to be a nutmeg. I, I don't know what this one is. We're going to have to look in my seashell book. Awesome. I know. Pretty cool, huh? It's an old one. The tip is broken and it has some pitting in it, but it's still a very interesting shell. Wow, nice find. Yeah. I just found a Florida fighting conch. It's a little one, but it's in excellent condition. Is that what that is? Yes! Wow! Cool, huh? It's, a, it's just a little is one, Is that right? sand in it or a critter in it? Oh, it's, oh, no, there's another shell stuck in the opening. I just have to pick the shell out of it. That's cool! What a great find! Nice Yay! Find. Another one on seashell bingo! been cold and windy on the beach for the last couple days so you have to have something to do when you can't go outside so I picked up a jigsaw puzzle at Walmart and I've been keeping myself busy of course I have a good helper here thanks mama Sita she's been doing a really good job of knocking pieces off onto the floor and getting up here on the table and jumping and messing up the whole puzzle she's a real big help but this is what I got so far Pretty cool, huh? And it has definitely kept me busy the last couple of days, which is exactly what I was hoping for. The worst part is that I'm already missing some pieces. There's like one, two, three that I know of. Oh, maybe even four. Like this is a brand new puzzle with sealed edges around the edges of the box. And there's pieces missing. It's so frustrating. I would have kept this puzzle in like done it again but I'm not gonna keep it if there's pieces missing that's crazy oh well it's been fun that's the important part one of the weirdest things about finding sea beans is that the hardest bean to spot is the bean I find the most of and that's the gray knicker nut because it's practically the same color as the sand look at that 
Like, it's a miracle that we even find these things. That's a golf ball pod, also known as a sea coconut. Sometimes they're really buried and you can barely see them peeking out. It's a miracle when you find them like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, I think we just found a brain bean. Yep, it's not in very good shape though. Most of the outer skin has been torn off, so there's just this pulpy center. So, it's not a keeper, but at least we know there's brain beans on this beach. Oh, what's that one? I don't even know what that is. Oh, because <laughs> it's not a shell or a sea bean. It's a bouncy ball. There's a big old granddaddy knicker nut. Holy smokes, it's a big one. But there's nothing more fun than finding a hamburger bean or a sea Purse. Oh my gosh, look what I just walked up to. Can you see it yet? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is what they look like when you find them in the sand. They're just laying there for somebody to spot. Oh my gosh, this one is a sea purse. No, it's a hamburger. It just has the black meat in the middle. That's a hamburger bean. The sea purse has a skinnier line in the center. Different. I love these little guys. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy? Are you getting frisky right now? What's going on around here, crazy kitty? You got an itch on your foot? What, mama? Mama, okay, you guys, it's been several episodes since we checked in on where we're at with seashell bingo. Which, if you haven't been watching, it's just the back of the seashell information sheet that I picked up at the visitor center, and I immediately saw it as a bingo card because I'm all about like the scavenger hunt or Easter egg hunt. But guess what? I also picked up a pamphlet on sea beans. Have you ever even heard of sea beans? I know, neither have I. They're just nuts or seeds or seed pods that have fallen into the ocean in the Caribbean or Central or South America and floated all the way here in the currents of the ocean to be washed up on the shores of the Gulf of Mexico, which is super cool because it gives us a whole new sea bean bingo <laughs> so we've been learning about the different kinds of sea beans and i just have to show you exactly where we're at with our seashells and our sea beans because we've been collecting for a couple of weeks now okay i'm going to go through these kind of fast because we've already talked about a lot of these before we have the southern quahog the atlantic bay scallop the calico scallop the giant cockle the sawtooth pin shell, and these are all over the place here. There's some really big ones up here and different sizes you see too, but you find so many of them that you get tired of picking them up. The sheet says that this is an angel wing, but I've learned since then that this is actually a false angel wing, and this is an actual legit angel wing. You can tell because the bumpy ridges go all the way down to the end of the shell, whereas on the false angel wing, they don't. Next to that is the turkey wing, and then the disc docinia, the shark eye moon snail, which was my unicorn for such a long time, and now I've found so many of them, and this isn't even all of them. I have like 12 more put away somewhere else. Um, the lettered olive, which is another one of my favorites. The incongruous arc, which I also found a black one, which I think is kind of rare. And the baby's ear, front and back. The sundial 
the lightning whelk. I've only found a really tiny one so far, but I'm, I'm hoping to find a bigger one at Big Shell Beach someday. And a Florida fighting conch. So it's actually quicker to show you which shells I haven't found yet, which are the Scotch Bonnet, the Spiny Jewel Box, the Banded Tulip, and the Giant Eastern Murex. And we know for sure that the Scotch Bonnet and the Banded Tulip do exist here because we found broken specimens of them. We just can't seem to find. And this is the only Banded Tulip that any one of us has found. It's the only one. We do find broken Scotch bonnets all the time, but it's hard to find a whole one. And we have all kinds of shells down here that I didn't know what they were until I bought the Texas Seashell Field Guide book. So um, we have, actually these ones are the ones that I'm not sure of the name yet. These are called the Common Jingle. That was the banded tulip. That's an auger, although I'm not sure which kind, and I found a shark's tooth as well. These little mountain peaks are false limpets, and this is an actual limpet. These little funny shaped things are called a slipper snail, where it looks like a little foot could slip down in there under that little edge like a little slipper. And these are mussels. This is a hooked mussel, and I found a cool lobster claw. These little funny, delicate things come out of a squid. They're called a sheep's horn squid. This special little specimen here is actually called an eastern pearl oyster, and you can tell on the inside how shiny and pearly it is. But I didn't know when I picked it up how delicate it would be. And the two halves broke apart, and there also used to be these delicate little fingers that kind of protruded around the edge, and as soon as you touch them, they just disintegrate under your fingertips. So I'm actually hoping to find a new little oyster pearl, because you find those in the same place you find the sea beans, which are a whole new story. So I couldn't believe how fast I started finding all of the sea beans that are on this little bingo card, and then how many more sea beans I was finding that aren't on the bingo card. So starting down here, the first one shown here is the starnut palm, and I'm pretty sure this is the starnut palm. And then the next one is a sea pecan. And then a sea brain, which I found three different sizes of sea brain, so that's kind of cool. Um, down here, it's, this one's called a sea heart. I found two different specimens of the sea heart. And then next to that, probably the coolest sea bean of all, these are called hamburger beans. And there's two different varieties. There's brown hamburger beans and red hamburger beans, and they're also slightly different sizes. But look how cool that is. Like, it literally looks like two buns, whoops, with meat inside. Isn't that the craziest thing you've ever seen? This was probably my fo most fun sea bean to find, the very first hamburger bean I found. And then the hardest sea bean to find, but the cutest one is called a sea purse. It's a lot like the hamburger bean, but you can see that the edge is very different where the hamburger bean just has a black band down the center. The sea purse literally looks like a zipper that has been sewn into a small little coin purse or something. Very detailed and delicate, and that's what they look like in the end. Aren't they just so cool? These are my favorite beans. And then I also have a Mary's heart, which has a vague little impression of a cross in it. So these are popular as a good luck charm in um, other countries. And there's a tropical almond down here, which these are probably, we find the most tropical almonds. They probably float the farthest. This giant ball down here is called a golf ball pod or sea coconut. We found quite a few of those. And then down here, as you can see, the most prolific sea bean found in Padre Island has to be the gray knicker nut, which is also known as the sea pearl. And these are a little bean that grow in a pod. There's two beans in each pod. And I don't know if you can tell on the, on the camera, but they shake. 
they make a rattling sound when you shake them. And these were carried by sailors to ward off the evil eye in ancient days gone by. And they're still today carried as good luck charms or to banish bad luck from your life. So that's a pretty cool little thing that goes along with the knicker net. So there's only 11 of the sea beans on this chart and I've found 10 out of 11. The one I haven't found, the last one, is called the antidote vine seed, which is actually used to make antidote for snake poison and other poisons. And then um, that's everything on the bingo card. And then we found a whole bunch of these other strange little nuts and pods and seed things. And I don't exactly know what they are, but I think they all fall into the category of sea beans. Oh, and these look like some kind of a red knicker nut because they make that shaking sound too. And also pumice stone, which is the other thing that apparently floats here in the storm surge. Oh, and my teeny tiny things, I forgot to talk about these. Most of them are just some kind of seeds that float here, but there's also these teeny tiny little snail shells that I don't know exactly what they are or what they're called, but they're so tiny and cute. Isn't that the cutest thing ever? It's possible that our time at the beach here might be drawing to a close very soon, so I better hustle if I'm gonna find my last few shells and sea beans on the bingo cards, right? <laughs> and I know it seems ridiculous that I have like 500 of these knicker nuts, but what I think I'm gonna do is make some little seashell grab bags with an assortment of a whole bunch of the shells that I've been finding and I'm going to put like two or three knicker nuts in every grab bag for good luck. I think we've mentioned in the past how dirty our floor gets here at the beach with all the beach sand but just in case you're wondering what it really looks like take a look at this. That is the pile up on the floor in front of our couch and dinette. dinette. They've been sweeping, so here's the, the difference from the clean floor to the sandy floor. It's ridiculous. And here's the steps. It's just a pile up. Yeah, and by the way, I got that puzzle finished and there were two pieces missing out of a brand new sealed puzzle box. So I'm a little miffed about that, but here's my puzzle. To be honest, I wasn't sure if a puzzle was going to fit on our dinette table and I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough space to actually do the puzzle because there wasn't enough space to like lay out all the pieces. I had to keep them in the box to keep searching through them but it totally fit and I totally got it done so good to know I have a rainy day hobby for whenever we have to stay in the bus. There's a coyote going up the beach right now. Hi you brother coyote. Mamacita has totally spotted the coyote out there. She's been it? watching it. It's just a little way up the beach this way where she keeps looking. Uh, oh, it's kind of gone out of view right now, but it was just kind of hanging around and lingering out there. And then I looked at Mamacita and she had her eyes on it. You know that bad guy's out there, huh, Mama? You know he's out there, huh? You saw that dog. You hate those dogs, huh? It's another rainy day in the bus, which seems like the kind of day you would just be stuck in the bus with no more puzzles to do. Unless you have your trusty umbrella. <laughs> it's time for an umbrella walk. 
And this is how I know I'm an addict when it comes to beach combing. Like I can't just let it go because it's rainy. I have to go out with an umbrella to look for um, shells or sea beans or whatever I might stumble across. I'm gonna miss being at this beach. Check out my bean bag today. Found all kinds of weird stuff. Wow. And a hamburger bean and a brain bean and a sea purse, the cutest one. So cool. And it wasn't even really raining anymore, but I realized from when it was raining that the umbrella was keeping the wind off of me and then my ears weren't so cold and that allowed me to stay out a lot longer. Nice. <sighs> okay, here we go. Carrie made Skylar a little necklace. Well, I gave Kelsey necklace. a ring the other day, and I didn't have anything for Skylar that day, so I made him a necklace. Let's see, buddy. See, that's super cool, It has cool, orange man. on it, because orange is his favorite oh, oh, color. Oh, okay. Kelly, look. Um, hold on. Look. You, you look cute. It's so pretty. You found a hamburger bean? Yep. Ice cream. <laughs> wow, where was it? Just, it wasn't with a six wheel. It was just in the open place. I'll clear that. Out here? About by your yeah. RV? No, no. Down there. Down there a little farther. Kind of, kind of by the, the car. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you guys. The best part of being here at the beach was A, looking for shells and sea beans with these guys, and B, making shrinky dinks. Yes. Am I right? Yeah. That was such a good time, huh? I can't believe we never filmed us making I know, right? Follow up, us, you make bus face! Oh, oh I should... Um, turtle? You know what? Let me go put the turtle on another chain, because this one has like five things all linked together. You want the turtle on a necklace? Let me, let me, go, let me go find a better necklace, because this one gets stuck. Hold on, I'll be back in just a minute. Here's some of the little tiny shrinky dinks. Can you see those, Mike? I, I made that, that. Yeah. Kelsey made Kelsey the K. Kelsey colored the K. <laughs> okay, let's put those on the table. Here, Kelsey, you want the turtle necklace? I don't know. Will this fit over your head? Oh, wait, kind of. Yes. Cool. And make sure to follow on Bussy McBussy. There's our sh <laughs> Thank you, Skylar. That's right. <laughs> or are you making it into a bracelet? That's a good idea. We should have made Shrinky Dink bracelets <laughs> next year. Definitely right. next year. Definitely coming back here in the fall of 2022, it sounds like. So obviously Give we're getting ready me. to Give leave and this is our last Give few minutes on the beach with our friends. <laughs> Miss y'all reading it. When we get back out here, keep in touch. I'll send you some, uh, send you a picture of what we're doing and Definitely. what's going on and then, oh, yeah. uh, whatever you do, or catch any cool fish or wherever you guys are going, send it back to me because well, I want yeah. to see that well, shit. Yeah. Yeah. Sir? It's been awesome See hanging ya. out with you guys. Oh. I'll see you guys oh, the next gonna go around. Go to definitely yeah. going to come back uh, in the fall winter oh, yeah. of uh, this year so we can uh, survive the winters because that was <laughs> this has been a, like the greatest summer. It's so great down here. So we just want to come back and like just slow tour the Texas coast, <laughs> you know, yeah. all the way up so we can see some of that cool. Uh, catch some cool fish. Cause yeah, I just love definitely. fishing out here. And thank you for the poles. The and everything, dude, and all the lessons, because I learned a ton about surf fishing right here. I feel yeah. way more confident about it. It's going to be on, good. Totally. Having a good attitude together. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Kelly, take Lots care, man. Take care, you guys. I know we cook together Memories. so many times. Yeah. Send me some good pictures and you find a good chance. Okay, we'll send you some good pictures. Okay. Oh, you getting down the snacks? Yeah. The secret <laughs> snack stash. <laughs> <laughs> all right, give me a big hug, buddy, before you get that chocolate <laughs> cupcake all over your mouth. <laughs> like I know you're gonna. I'm gonna miss you, Miss Princess. Is that the little? Oh, you got the seahorse off. She wanted that seahorse off. Miss you already, little guy. All right, catch lots of fish with your dad. Bye, sweetie. I miss you too. Oh, my head! You're squeezing it all the way off. I miss you. Hi, yeah, you.
<laughs> okay, let's put the fishy on the seahorse. Yeah, I'm going to miss this like place too. Crazy. Well, that about does it for uh, Padre Island for us this year. And now we head. Like weeks and weeks and weeks of Padre Island and surrounding beaches and yeah, all That's the right. fun stuff. So we're going to be uh, heading west from here. We're not telling you exactly where we're going. You have to watch to see that. But goodness. we have a whole new adventure we, uh, in store for you. We do. So we'll definitely be seeing you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. We love you guys. Hit subscribe and like for us if you can. And uh, see you next Thursday. Mwah. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys. We love you guys. Okay, you guys, I'm making those seashell and sea bean grab bags like we talked about, and they're going to be available on our Etsy store. So you might want to check those out, and they might have a hamburger bean in them. Oh, and P.S., those knicker nuts, they get shinier as you handle them. It's so cool. <laughs>